reporters witness a Guantanamo Bay prisoner tribunal for the first time. They hear an Afghan detainee deny he was a military combatant. In Iraq, signs the ceasefire with Muqtada al-Sada is unraveling. And a special report on the Sudanese refugees struggling for survival in neighboring Chad. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. I'm Stephen Cole. Journalists have attended a US military tribunal for Guantanamo Bay detainees for the first time. The reviews began after the US Supreme Court ruled that prisoners have the right to challenge their detention. In well, Clive Myrie, still to come on this program. How DNA testing could bring an end to the dispute over the final resting place of Christopher Columbus. That's after the break. And welcome back. You're watching BBC World. Time to remind you of our top stories. Reporters are allowed to attend the Guantanamo hearings for the first time. And in Iraq, signs the ceasefire with Moqtada al-Sada is unravelling. The African Union says its first troops should be in the troubled Sudanese region of Darfur next week. You're watching BBC World. Now, international business news, and here's Manisha Tank. Manisha. Stephen, thanks very much. And I can tell you it's all about oil prices this session. They've jumped to another record high this Thursday, hitting $44.40 a barrel. The crisis at the Russian energy giant. And after World Business Reports, Sport Today, here on World. Stephen. David, thank you very much. Just uh, time to remind you of the main news. Reporters have been allowed to attend the Guantanamo hearings for the first time. And there are signs that the ceasefire between supporters of the radical Iraqi cleric Moqtada al-Sada and U.S. coalition forces is beginning to unravel. From me, Stephen Cole, it's all for the moment.